The high number of entries reflects the vitality of the local art scene. This according to this year's adjudicator. Firuz was impressed with some of the contemporary pieces exhibited, which he said reflected an intelligent and responsible approach to art. It was Elliot Kine's Native River that took the top prize, a piece that touched on identity, territory and the environment, also claiming the Best Painting Award. So it is interesting to see uh, that uh, some artists from Gibraltar are interested in uh, thematics that are international, like the ones uh, related uh, to this very central issue in the Trump administration since they came to power, which are the Dakota pay pipelines. It, it actually attends the idea of tribalism uh, with ownership of land. On one side, that means memory. And on the other, um, you know, the, the, the conquesting modernism that, uh, that tends to take the side of a uh, like soulless economy and, uh, and basically leads to pollution. So I, I actually see all of this in there. Fine Arts Association President Paul Koskieri scooped two prizes. Over Everything claimed second prize in the painting category, with the artist's second entry, Pink and Blue Rock, taking the best Gibraltar theme. Uh, there is texture, uh, there is different uses of media. Um, I have grown up with the idea that um, every, media is everything and em everything is media. That means uh, what you can use whatever uh, you have around your studio to create art. Joaquim Mario says Knightley took the Best Young Artist Award, with the judge impressed with her use of colour and her execution. I like the way that she has introduced this 3D impression, like the other artists I've chose today, uh, into her uh, 2D um, graphical work. And this one's all, all, obviously more and more figurative, but the figuration I see here is something that I, that I could relate to a Frida Kahlo-esque kind of psychedelia. In the sculpture section, it was teacher and well-known artist Carl Alger who was recognised. His plastic landmines described as a relevant creation. There is, a, there is an obligation, I believe, a philosophical obligation of the artist to, to attend some of, a, some of the political issues of our world. And I think that pollution and plastic are today very, very, very central. And um, if uh, an artist has uh, the, the, the idea or the approach or, or let's say, um, the guts to go to, forward uh, to, toward these kind of, uh, uh, of, uh, of thematics, I'm going to be supporting them all the way. Gabriela Martinez was the winner of the Photography Award with a captivating image. Uh, I think that in its construction is just perfect. Uh, the symmetry, the colours, um, the, um, the light, he, he, it's an incredible, well-composed well, well piece. And the thematics uh, are just heart-moving. Photographer Vera Francis's Awakening claimed the installation top spot, a category judged from written submissions. In front of the two other pieces I have also um, uh, chosen as the winners, here you have something that's very close to the same thematic. I mean uh, nature. Uh, I believe that um, it is important to give uh, a central piece, uh, a central growl back to uh, the idea of the respect of nature, uh, meaning uh, solo power, uh, using nature as, as a fuel instead of us seeing it as, as, as something we can just use as a, as, as a commodity. And that's what I see here. In the video section, it was Shalene Figueres' entry that caught the judge's eye. It attends the, the idea of movement and uh, liberation in front of the ties that maybe society is putting around us. Uh, and it also involves texture, like the way she used plastic and uh, the way she used uh, this uh, chalk material uh, around her idea of contemporary dance. The exhibition is on at the Gustavo Bacarices' gallery until the 2nd of June. A full list of winners can be found on our website, that's gbc.gi.